2020 is gonna be my year, okay? I'm gonna do all the open mics, all the shows, I'm gonna travel everywhere, I'm gonna meet all these great people. So I read my horoscope shortly after quarantine started and it said 2020 was the year that I was gonna find love. And I was like, with who? The centipede in my parents' basement? Well, not even he wants me. I am going to travel more. Like, not to other countries because of COVID, but um, I don't know, um, maybe just like explore around my apartment more, you know? Like, I haven't been inside any of the cupboards or the oven. What's it like in there? Uh, lost 30 pounds this year. Quarantine really changed me and uh, very happy about that. 2020 wasn't so bad to me, actually. Although he did ruin my sex life. COVID. As for this to last me an entire week instead of, uh, uh, you know, one day like it does now, what do you think? I think you're crazy. Yay! COVID! If you made it this far, just keep going. The only way out is through it. So this is scotch and soda in a beer snifter, so whatever, don't judge me. I don't ever want to hear the term staycation ever again. I don't want any unsolicited advice for any TV shows to watch or any podcasts to listen to. I don't also want COVID. <laughs> I don't know how I got mono during a pandemic. It makes me feel like a gross teenager. I uh, completely blew out my knee while dancing when I found out Joe Biden won the election and need a complete knee replacement. They're gonna give me dead people knee parts. I decided that even though 2020 has been a hell of a year, uh, I'm still gonna go ahead and make some 2021 resolutions. Oh, we're gonna talk about 2021 resolutions? Let me tell you right now, the resolution is that 2020 has been resolved, okay? I and my New Year's of resolution for 2021 is to stop reading horoscopes. Not giving stupid dudes the benefit of the doubt online. Although they do make for good comedy. New Year's resolution, well, one of, is to spend more time on velvet couches. So, merry, merry. If you are making resolutions for 2021, please stop immediately. We do not want to spook it or put pressure on it because 2021 is like a very stupid horse or a very stupid man. If we scare it, it might kill us, okay? It might wreck everything. See, what I was thinking about is how there's gotta be some, some person in the world, you know, who had literally the worst 2020, who's super pumped for 2021. And as soon as the clock strikes midnight, uh, I don't know, maybe they get hit by a truck. Maybe it gets worse, so uh, we'll see. Just gonna be grateful for what I got. I got a lot of regret and bad memories of an unhappy childhood, and I am going to use that to motivate me to go back. I am going back in time. I'm going to defy time and reality and space to go back to the sixth grade, and I'm gonna live my life over it. This time, I'm gonna nail it. More opportunities for seeing my friends, my family, you know, mostly just because I need new material. Huh? What? No, no, no. I'm not giving up anything in 2021. I'm giving up in 2021. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm giving up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm giving up in 2021. Yeah, cheers. As we're going into 2021, I ain't bringing no baggage with me. Banana, it's not even ripe. Baggage. Mass from last week. Baggage. Backstreet's boys. 
Who do you think I am? Nine baggage. A granny panty. Not baggage. I really hope to be on a stage somewhere using a mic, not a brush. Wish for 2021 is that I hope the economy gets better, mainly because I'm tired of men asking me if they can eat my food. Totally over it. You know, the beginning of quarantine, I was like, oh, I can't believe this. I've made five lasagnas and I have zero husbands. Now, at the end of 2020, I'm like, I don't think there's a man that's worth my food and my pussy. One or the other, fellas. Uh, one, I want to get out of this whole uh, virtual background type thing. I want to actually be here, okay? And you know what we can do to make that happen is if we all start wearing masks. And I'll tell you one more thing. In order for that to happen too, I need to, you know, uh, lose some weight. Well, I'm gonna get that nice body with your washboard out. But wear your mask, y'all. I'm gonna try to this. So for 2021, I have all the confidence in the world that as long as I put my mind to it, I can achieve nothing. In 2021, I'm definitely going to be more charitable. See, I already adopted a baby. Woo! Booby! Stop using my kid for Instagram. Okay, so in an effort to decrease my screen time, I'm going to stop watching so much porn online and start reading more. Probably fan fiction and erotica, but it still counts. It's still reading, right? To get vaccinated and get up on stage again. Uh, not to say that I don't trust any of you, but uh, y'all are nasty. And if you're in my head, I don't like germs. 2021, not only will I return triumphant to the stage, but I will also start wearing pants on a daily basis. Surprise. I'm just going into 2020 hoping that it's a shit year, but a normal kind of shit year. The kind of shit years with shit days that we used to complain about things like waiting an hour for the train or stepping in dog crap while getting cat call, or going to a restaurant and there being nothing gluten-free on the menu. That's the kind of year I want 2021 to be. The kind Don't try to go viral this year. Try to contact Trace. Like 2021 is gonna be pretty much just like my 2020. Wanted to wish you all a happy new year. You made it, guys. My year. Okay.